seas, okay? If you come to my country, everybody likes to know about seas. Not the vitamin C's. They talk about the C's is cars, condominiums, cash, okay? Credit card, country clubs, okay? This is the high C's. This is the five C's they are looking for. Everybody, you know? You know a, a car, how much it costs? Just a piece of paper it's called Certificate of Entitlement. 40,000 Sing dollars. Okay, with this paper you can buy a car. So a small Japanese car costs easily 100,000. Okay, condominium, half a million. Club houses, depends on in country clubs, 20,000, 30,000, some even more than 100,000. So these are the people <laughs> seeking, chasing after all these seas, okay? Until they got all the seas, the other seas chasing after them, you know? <laughs> Cardiovascular diseases. Cancers, okay, chronic illnesses, hypertension, diabetes, cholesterol. So all come after them, you know. So what do they do? They go to the convention treatments. Today, we talk about the high C's, uh, high dose vitamin C, okay. See what we have. People ask, how? You, you are not an oncologist. How come you touch all my cancer patients, okay? Yes, I'm not an oncologist, okay. It started with more than 20 five years ago. So this is a Singapore artist, okay? He's trained to be a, the third uh, movie star after Bruce Lee. You know, you know Bruce Lee, the Kung Fu fighter? You know Jackie Chan? He, is under the, he was under the same film director. You'll be the third dragon, dragon, he said. Okay, but unfortunately, he got cancer nose cancer, you know? And so happened this, his wife is from Hong Kong. I originally from Hong Kong, okay? You can tell my Hong Kong accent, huh? So, uh, they stay just above my clinic. So throughout the process of how they fight against cancer, every time they ask me, and then I do my research, I try to help them, okay? But eventually, they, he, he went through all the treatment, eventually died. The tumor actually grow uh, externally. You can see the tumor actually. Oh, at, at the end he died. It's bone and bone and skin. I can tell you, terrible, you know. And I signed a death certificate for them. And this whole story about how they struggled through this cancer journey was documented in this uh, so-called DVD. And later, there's another Singapore artist, a DJ, you know, suffered from leukemia. Okay was given a death sentence, okay? The second time he relapsed, he was given a few months to live. And he actually prepared his funeral. Who do what, you know? Everything prepared with slides and songs, everything. Well organized, you know? But eventually, he used nutrition, okay? Doing something out of the box. He came back, you know, it is after his chemo, he was asked to eat, so he, ate, he gained more than 35 pounds, you know? But eventually, he get all is gone. Now he's still alive and thrive. He is now into health. Uh, he's talking about health in China. Big business now. Health promotion is a big business. So I became a close friend to him. And then he asked me to set up this cancer support group. So we tried to get some cancer patients. Eventually, get bigger and bigger. And we train uh, volunteers to help cancer patients, to help their families. So we had set up this cancer training course, you know, so, and for caregivers. And eventually we get uh, more popular and recognized by the society, by the government. The minister come to be our sponsor. We have church leaders, bankers, they come to us. So we are getting uh, more and more cancer patients. And nowadays we have millions, okay, donations a year. So you're one of the fast-growing uh, cancer prevention society. Yeah. So we call it 365. 365 means 365 days. You don't do it just one day, two days. One month, two months, cancer prevention, no use. So we are now, you can go to our website, you can find us. I'm the, still the medical consultant there. Still people asking me what to do when they get cancer. So today I would like to share some of my experiences, including vitamin C. Okay.
And cancer prevention has been on all the time. And there's an old saying, let food be your medicine, okay? Everybody know about this. When I was young, I was told, eat anything on the table, don't be choosy, okay? True, but I cannot talk to my daughter this time. You choose what you eat, okay? Don't just eat anything on the desk, okay? You have to be wise. There's a junk food now. Last time, we don't have a junk food. Last time, when I go out, we don't have supermarket, okay? So, we eat the chicken fresh. My mother bring the chicken to slaughter it, okay? and, and, and nowadays, every chicken is in the supermarket, okay? I ask my, some, most of my friends, I don't think any one of you know how to slaughter a chicken, right? You never try. <laughs> So food be your medicine, and food can be your poisons. Nowadays, you should be careful. So talking about medicine, preventions, okay? Edison is a scientist. Talking about future of the medicine should be prevention, diet, nutrition. That was more than 50 years ago. What about nowadays? We're still practicing traditional medicine, we're still prescribing drugs, okay? It makes a lot of sense you, to me, but it doesn't make a lot of money, okay? That's the problem, you know? So, so today, we, okay, I try to tell you, okay, try to make a good sense. If you are the patient, think about it, okay? Don't just think about your pocket, okay? And the case, the prevention concept, is not long ago. 4,600 years, okay? We talk in this, uh, uh, the Yellow Empire canons of internal medicine. They talk about what is a superior doctor, mediocre doctors, and inferior doctors, okay? We are trained to be an inferior doctor, are you, are you aware? We are trained to treat diseases, not to prevent the diseases, or even prevent before it clinically appear. So we are trained to be a inferior dog from the very beginning. How many nutrition courses you were taught? I was in a, I was a lecturer in the university before. I was given six to seven lectures on nutrition, vitamins, very basics, you know. And these are the, these are the doctors know about nutrition, know nothing about supplements, okay? Not to say about medical nutrition, not what you learn today, okay? Cancer prevention, still the best treatment, you know? Cure is best, okay? Prevention is still the best, okay? So, as a doctor trained in a conventional way, I have to catch up with my medical institution. Where do I go? I sit. Hell, from the US. I went to San Diego. You know about this Gershon therapy? I was there more than 10 years ago, Miss Charlotte Gershon. See, to talk about this proven, uh, nutrition program for cancer. Okay, that's exciting, okay. And was there, and sitting next to me is uh, this doctor from Romania. He is a surgeon, you know, he has his own small hospital, he told me. It's the first day I met him. He operated on his wife's breast cancer. And he came to talk to me. Chemo doesn't work. He wanted to try nutrition. We have another doctor, American doctor, he got prostate cancer among us. So we have doctors from all over the, from England doing this nutrition therapy, okay? But they are not allowed to practice uh, in, the, in San Diego. They have to go to Mexico, to Tijuana, uh, to, to, to practice this nutrition program, you know? Very funny. Then I met the doctor there, and they do vitamin C. They do 15 grams of vitamin C. But remember how many of doctors here have not started Vitamin C for yourself or for your cancer, for your patient. How many have not started vitamin C? All haven't tried yet, haven't tried vitamin C yet. So, ah, uh, you all, oh, you haven't tried. The, only two, what do you mean majority are my supporter? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very happy. And these two, one day, okay, maybe tomorrow they will start after my, after these two days lecture. Then you have to tell me why not, you know, if you, <laughs> Uh, next time we meet, uh, so I try to respond these two doctors. Uh, okay, that's how we get this vitamin C come into our treatment. Okay? Last time in the 16th, 17th century, a lot of sailors, they die. After a few months on the sea, they suddenly die of this 
We now know in scurvy, they have the bleeding gum, joint pain, swelling, and then the immune system goes low, and they die of infections. And eventually, they found out this uh, citrus fruit can be their savior, you know, so good. And then eventually, vitamin C was isolated in 1928. Okay, and then was this get the Nobel Prize there for this total year, 1933. In just two years, you know, you just two years, they published a paper on vitamin C for polio. You just wonder, these doctors, they are really smart, you know, they just came out, they start to use it and find it huh, to treat. They started publishing paper, okay? And then, more people coming out to treat poliomyelitis, viruses. That was time is very the deadly diseases. No, even nowadays, you know, no medicine. So there are paper published. Okay, I don't know how many of you know about vitamin C for polio. I think I, I know a psychiatrist in Hong Kong. He's crippled polio. He should have given this one last time. If, if they know it works, you know, it's successfully treated. And then they came out whooping cough. Just another two years. So these people are just trying to find vitamin C researchers. Whooping cough, they still they are using nowadays the pediatrician. Okay. Dr. Susan Humphrey is they using vitamin C for the kids for whooping cough. Right? They reduce instead hundred days cough, we call it uh, reduce maybe less the severity, less the duration. It's worth to try. Vitamin C, okay. And then this Dr. Kaima. Wow, he is he's really a hero. He's been using it for a lot and documented more than 30 cases. Okay? Antiviruses, more, okay? Talk about pneumonia, encephalitis. Still deadly disease today. Huh? The list goes on, and even some cancers. Leukemia, lymphoma, okay? Wow, all this already, huh? even schizophrenia. The list still can go on, you know? You can add HIV. Dengue hemorrhagic fever, right? In Malaysia, Singapore, we have a lot of these cases. Ebola viruses, right? You can treat sicker viruses. SARS, all these uh, things can be added. The vitamin C list still can go on, right? So why we are not using it? Uh, is it unsafe, dangerous? Ah, we have this Linus Pauling. He's a two times Nobel Prize. Uh, he, uh, Winner, okay? And they started to use 10 grams, okay? 10 grams, if you are using vitamin C, you know 10 grams is nothing to you, okay? Today I started with 15 grams, 20 grams, I started with this dosage, you know? They use 10 grams, 10 days, and then change to orally. But even with this low dosage, to me it's low dose, they say it's the high dose, you know? You know, 100 milligrams is your recommended dietary allowance per day. 100 milligram, nothing. They put 10 times, 10 grams. It's very high, intravenous, you know. And eventually, they get good results. Fourfold increase in life expectancy. That is good, you know. Fourfold, you know, you get three months, you get one year. Okay, that is wonderful result, you know. So we should be happy, you know. And they say, if even higher dosage, okay. His words is right, higher dose we use. Now we go to 100 grams, 10 times of his, okay? And even camera, okay? And then, but there's an opposition. And this is, okay, you guess that. Uh, he, he's a long-term opponent, okay, of alternative medicine. You are aware there are some doctors, they are very convention, I mean, to me. They cannot accept to other ideas. I'm from Hong Kong, I brought up from uh, Chinese medicine, Western medicine, acupuncture, so I'm open, okay? And doctors trained in China, they know TCM, they know acupuncture, they know all this. You can, so they, they integrate everything, okay? But he against all this so-called non-evidence-based medicine, okay? And he did another trial. No, Pauling was wrong. He published a paper, okay? And say a failure of high dose vitamin C to benefit cancer patients. 
Wow, you know, Dr. Linus Pauling, straight away, of course, we feel all these findings. So. The problem is, his paper published in New England Journal of Medicine. Okay, you know where, you know, when you're studying medicine, you, you, you read all these articles. Linus Pauling published in the, some of the paper published in the science. Okay? So you, you, you go to your medical school, you know there's a medical library. Okay, last time I do research, I do medical library. So I find all my papers there. You hardly go to the general library to find all these articles from Linus Pauling, okay? So at that time, you go to, you, you have to spend half a day at least, uh, search articles, and then make photocopy, go back and so So this are imprinted in all the doctors. Vitamin C, no use. With this paper, it better. This is a, and then one more paper. Ah, in 1985. Why? Uh, two can really kill you. One, not yet. Another one. You know, this doctor is, of course, he's an oncologist. He has his own cancer center. He's using chemo drugs. He against all these so called uh, non evident based on code. So, what do we do? We have all this, of course, uh, Cameron, you see, he's a Scottish surgeon. One thing good about all these, uh, they are weird fighters, you know. They're scientists also, to me. They never give up. This was so much so uh, against uh, their so the prejudice. And uh, see, the, my personal involvement is still highly controversial subject of vitamin C cancer. And I hope to convince you that the whole research project has a perfectly sound scientific basis. Okay? They, they still believe, you know, despite all these so called findings. So they persist, they publish more books, more papers. Okay, this is actually a stimulation to Linus Pauling to, to persist, to go and to prove uh, themselves. As, so they can foresee, he died now, but he foresee one day, vitamin C will be a supplementary ascorbic. Vitamin C has been moved beyond, beyond shadow of doubt, okay? That is the, so the belief they have. And, and going on. But the fight is not yet. There's still more people probably. They talk about alternative medicine now. Don't use it, you die faster than doing convention. So you hear that on and on. People, they publish paper, they're talking about all oh, what you're doing. It's, it's nonsense, it's quacks, okay? So it scares you, you know, as a doctor. You're trained, you got a license, you know? It can be removed. Uh, and we have this quack watch, okay, written by to me as a quack doctor himself. <laughs> but he's talking what he talk about, you do the you follow. What he against, uh, you 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 just follow. Should be good, you know. You talk all the alternative. He put a, a quack, you know. You go into his website, you get very interesting. He's a psychiatrist, you know. To me, psychiatrist are a bit so mental, but sometimes he, he, he no, they are the, 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 he put all out to alternative. And despite you see so much in conventional medicine, so many times drugs are withdrawn, they're killing so many, never mention about the chemo drugs, you know? How many times they kill patients? How many, how many, how many patients die out of this alternative? How many patients die of vitamin C? Supplements, okay? I'll show you more. Huh? So the FDA also, you know? FDA is another thing, so they are approved drug to use, okay? So vitamin C, not allowed. So we, most countries, they follow FDA, you know? Yeah? So, and they even want to ban vitamin C, even want to license all the supplements. You are aware of that? So supplements, they need to be prescribed. They are not allowed to buy over the counter. They want to control everything, okay? So eventually, they are, Healthcare reform, you start from the kitchen, you know? You should know about your food, you know? And then, vitamin C treatment, cancer quackery, you know? But all these are published, okay? So we, we, we you have all these information keep on sending to our authority, our senior, our this advisors. So these are all backing up their stand, you know? Vitamin C, no use. Okay, when they talk about it, they shut up already. You see? Don't talk to about this crack medicine. Okay? So they are talking with all these people back up, you know. 
Oh, so you'll be pharmacokinetic also. More than two grams, no you. Expensive urine, as you, you know. Expensive urine. Drug is more expensive. Okay. You know how much the drug costs, you know? It's two hundred billion dollar business, chemo drugs. Hundred hundred million at least, you know, billion. So and the patient dies, the, the sad thing is. So with all this so-called science and support, uh, what do you mean see? They have systemic view, this is one five, just few years, you know. Wow, this is literature review by the oncologist. So they use their, uh, their, their eyeglass, you know, they, uh, they, they really have, they look at the, all the negative things, they bring it out, publish a paper. Okay. So patients should be honestly informed of this and, and the only treated without confines are high quality clinical trial. You must do a clinical trials, okay? Who will sponsor your clinical trial on vitamin C? No patents, <laughs> you go. Millions, you know, nobody, but, but it's still of a research interest to a lot of uh, cancer medical center, Rio and Kinney, uh, Dr. Thomas Levy, doing public, all these papers, okay? And then you come up into our guidelines, okay, from the ministry. No more vitamin C, okay? There's clinic, huh? I'm one of them, okay? Vitamin C infusion for herpes, to boost the immune system, keep on for chemotherapy, for rehydration of fever and diarrhea. Good to find also cannot. All the things you learn here cannot, you know, you waste your time to stay here, you follow the guideline, you know. You are not allowed to use anything to learn. Laser works, you know, laser IV, I talk about that. And then they talk about progesterone, hormones, testosterone, all this. Uh, then I got a struggle. Vitamin C, okay. But I got a testosterone injection, okay. Per injection is more expensive than my vitamin C. And this testosterone injection, I think some of you know, is from a big pharmaceutical company. So I called the rep, but hey, you, what, are, what to do with this thing? Uh, return, uh, refund or what? He said, no, 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 don't worry, doctor, doctor. We will, we will, we will talk to the ministry. We will uh, <laughs> call, okay? So sure enough, you know, the guideline was fourth in just eight days. Came out another one to all the clinics, you know, not just to, to my, you know, to all the clinics. Ah, this one. Yeah. Is it working? Is it uh, battery? The next one. The next slide. Oh, I mean, I use my. No, no response, you see. It's stuck there, you know. I was stuck that time also, you know. Cannot do anything. <laughs> Using anything, what to do? <laughs> we bought the drugs, you know. Then, okay. Can I? Okay, another one. Oh, thumb dry? Oh, okay. Ah, they come out of calorification. Very happy, you know. Wow, really efficient. Wow. They really work hard. And then only with less than 80, they can come out another car. Can use. Provided it's a deficiency. Wow, I think that's good. Using the same argument, vitamin C cancer patient, a lot of them, vitamin C deficient. Can use, okay? No, until now I'm still writing letters. Still proving that vitamin C is safe to use, okay? So you do aware of that. So something can change very fast uh, in the system, but something very slow, okay? Slower than the traffic in Manila. You know, last time I took three and a half hours from airport to the to the hotel, right? But this time, well, with faster. Okay, the next one. So, what happened now? Something now, can you? Now. Something we. Okay, now. That is another slide. Just came out this year. Wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> you see, black out, you know? <laughs> totally black out. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot use that. Uh, in my. <laughs> I'm going back to. So we do a rerun again. No, no. Okay. Why? So do a rerun. So. Okay. Oh, let's see. Huh? Okay. That is in our neighboring country. Wow, they even come down with a strong face. Huh? 
the way they squeeze on that. You do, you will be cut, chopped off. <laughs> wow, that is very scary, you know. But my Malaysia and Korea are very relaxed, you know. The regulation have their authority, their, their regulation, and they have their way and means. You know? That is, that is, to me, very flexible. Huh? That is uh, so-called, to me, they have so-called uh, this uh, creativity yeah, in responding to all these uh, restrictions. Right? So they're still doing, you know, to, to my knowledge. Right? I don't want to tell who, who is doing it, but you, you all know that. You go to the website, you can see already. They don't need to search you. Right? But they are talking about, but they came up all this, they're mainly for aesthetics. Right? Aesthetics. And then, vitamin C is still very controversial. It's medicine or politics. Okay? When I first entered medical school, the first lecture I received from the lecturer, he talked about medicine is science, but also an art. Wow, I was impressed. I was a science graduate. You know, it's, it's an art. It's the art of healing. Uh, art of talking to patients, out of communication. I was impressed. So with this idea, I graduated as a doctor with this art and science. When I come to practice, you all know, uh, medicine is yes, company contracts. Insurance, medical insurance. Medical medicine is economics. Money, right? Not even politics. So we are facing all this, right? So I hope we're still staying to our over, to faithful to our patients, okay? Vitamin C is one thing I think it should be emphasized. Then why we go to this C, uh, chemotherapy, eh? And they talk, they have been revealed. Chemotherapy is evidence-based, well-researched, and documented, not useful. You know the success rate? Chemotherapy success rate? My patient number is 60%, 70% success. I say, good, go for it, okay? I fully support if that is the oncologist. But do you know what they mentioned? It's a response rate. That means when I put a chemo drug in, the cancer will shrink. You can see it, okay? From 5 cm to 2 cm. You're happy, you know? But the patient never asks, what to do with the rest 2, two, two, two cm there? What to do, you know? They still remain there. Eventually, they become stronger, resistant. So the overall five years success rate, you know the figures? It's a success rate, you, you survive for five years. Depends on chemo. It's well written in the oncology journal, you know, in Australia. It's 2.1% in US, 2.3% in Australia. So I told my patient, don't go to US for chemo, go to Australia. Highest success rate, 2.3%. <laughs> okay, they were shocked, you know. True or not, you go and search. Okay, every cancer they list it out. So, so with all this, how can we advise our cancer patient? It came to one time our society talking about, hey, with all this, the patient asked, shall we talk, tell them stop? I say, no, no, you cannot do that. Otherwise, you, you will not be subsidized. You will not go, you get your community funding. You cannot tell your patient to stop chemo. This is one of the so-called proof of medicine to, ca to, to cancer. Okay, so what we do is to let the patient know the truth and let them decide, okay? So actually before we say that the patients don't need, don't need to listen to all these statistics. They see among their friends <laughs> while they're waiting in the waiting room, they, they, they feel depressed already. They don't, they don't even let you know. They, they, they don't like in, inside, they hardly say, I don't want. But somehow you make your own choice, okay? And Forgetting about some of the patients from, huh, they, they went all the way to US for treatment, okay? The number one heart disease, cancer. And then followed by this, uh, medical errors. What shock patient, right? More than 200,000, you know, per year. That's a, that's, that, that's a lot, you know. 200,000 is a lot to you. It, it died because of us, you know? Because of the medical facility, because of doctors. Have you heard about this study? When you are, when doctor on strike, you know, you know, you, you know, you, you, you are not on strike, you know, you're on strike then, you know, what happened? The death rate reduced. It happened in US, Israel, or UK. Okay, so don't be so proud you strike the patient with your No, they survive better. Okay, it's documented, you know. 
So, but you know, there's something wrong in our medical system, right? So we must be aware. They are, they are deaf you know, of this thing, maybe not better, okay? So we found something new until 2016. Still the number three. Some say no, that the figure cannot be so high. Maybe just half, 100,000 only. 100,000 is still a lot, you know? Consider this place is highly uh, so called. This is US, uh, not, not in Southeast Asia, not in Africa, you know? 100,000. Africa may be less, uh, you know? Because they use less medicine. Oh. Okay. So these medical errors, okay? I got patient actually went to US, spent half a million US for chemo drugs, came back with all the drip set and half the, and he eventually passed on. Okay? Oh, sorry, sorry. Did it. So you must remember to off your phone, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that usually, <laughs> that should be my answer. Okay. And then we have another uh, study. Now, it just came out, you know, 2017, okay? The patient was shocked, you know, I showed them. True or not? Uh, this, this is, they talk about, is it nonsense? It's, no, they talk about uh, chemotherapy, breast cancer. They found out the mechanism. We know about cancer, uh, chemo drug, not very effective. But now they actually found chemo drugs spread the cancer. Well, that is scary. That is uh, just one so they're going to the start. They found out how chemo drugs spread the cancer through this so called tumor micro environment of metastasis. When the tumor cells die, they actually become the food for the cancer cells, you know? So the cancer cells just grow and spread. Well, that is, this is new, you know? You, you, all, you can show this to your cancer patient. Let them decide, you could breast cancer, chemo drugs, it spread, okay? So it become a bombshell to spread cancer, okay? So chemo drugs spread throughout the body and causing a increase in cancer cells, in the circulating tumor cells. By the way, when you talk about cancer, don't think cancer is just our organs. Cancer is a system, okay? What I felt, you treat the cancer, you treat the whole system. You don't just treat the organs, okay? Because we are just... Uh... So we come back to Linus Pauling. This guy must be smart. Two times Nobel Prize, okay? Unshared, unshared, it means his... Uh, he must have something in mind. Why is he so persistent in... Talking about vitamin C, you know, there must be some truth in it, you know. So we try to find out, right? He's mentioned nearly all disease can be traced to nutrition deficiency. Wow, that is good, you know. Nutrition, you know. But this is a thing that we never learned, we never been taught in our medical school. Okay, if that is true, we must. Uh, Try to catch up, you know. They've written about so many books about cancer. Okay, vitamin C. So people laugh at him because vitamin C for flu, but people also laugh at him vitamin C for cancer. Despite, despite that, eh? one time I asked a administrator in one of the Singapore very large medical group. Eh? I say, what is your best selling products, best selling drugs? Okay, he told me. Vitamin C, huh? Vitamin C is true, you know? Because there are a lot of company contracts. They come look for medical search, you know? What do you give them? They, they, they want MC, okay, medical certificate. So the doctor give them vitamin C, liberally, you know? So vitamin C is the best selling. <laughs> but I don't know now, maybe it's still uh, the truth. Uh. So, and then you come to know about this story, come out big in the news. Okay, how many have saw this on YouTube, sir? You, know, you do a show on New Zealand, uh, Swan Flu, Alan Smith, you follow this YouTube video. And this man was coming down with a Swan Flu, plus hair, uh, hair cell leukemia. Sure die. I should look at the, the picture. He's he lying in the ICU. Sure gone one, I say, <laughs> hopeless to me. I agree, I agree with what the doctor's decision. Okay, we, should, we will switch off the, this ECMO, this uh, life-supporting machine long ago, you know. But sometimes the family persists, you know. 
Somehow, I found I think Dr. Thomas Levy know their family. Must be very rich. Uh, even at the end of the video, you see that they, they are their small crowd. They have their own yacht. You know, and then he was given vitamin C, high dose. And the patient improved. And getting better. But the doctor still don't believe. Cannot be vitamin C. They must be turn him uh, prone to get the result, you know? That is a bit funny. To me, it doesn't sound very medical, you know? Then you can turn, turn your patient every, every day, you know? But somehow it, 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 it came out to be the argument. But eventually, the patient survived. But they lowered the dosage. Okay, the vitamin C, the patient get worse. And eventually, they have to go to the lawyer. Okay, now vitamin C in New Zealand is legal, and the patient can sue the doctor. You know, if you don't give them vitamin C, you know, it's so good. You know, you are being sued not for not giving. You know, uh, I would like to be sure not to be <laughs> giving vitamin C. You know, but now it seems the opposite. The patient are like it. Even the authority, they still reserve. You know. And then, uh, while you're in a struggle, I met these two giants, okay? Last year, you know, you good to come to a medical conference, you know? And uh, Professor Atushu is the, the president of this uh, awful molecular medicine. You have our Dr. Thomas Levy, okay? We have the heart to, to kill a patient, okay? But we, we cannot fight. So, but we have a cardiologist, have a heart to fight, and he's a lawyer. Where you can find such a good man, you know? So he gave me all the support and advice, you see. And he used a very strong, they know the truth. You, you have to get it out to the people, okay? They published the book, Curing the Incurables. In Chinese also, I don't know. I don't know whether he got the, the, the copyright uh, in Chinese. They just translate here. Yeah? And then in different language, uh, okay? So wait a minute, infection, okay? So some of you, they sign their books. Uh. And then we have another one, this is the vitamin C man. I'd like to show his video, two minutes only, about vitamin C high dose, you know. Let him talk to my patient, you know. Ah, like this? Really? And then I explain, okay. Then they're doing vitamin C, they're giving Dr. Hanninke, you know. We all, I, one day I would like to meet these people. They are my hero, they're doing vitamin C, they, uh, they documented the cases, they publish books, you know. He talk about, he's not really friendly to our doctor. He say, doctor yourself, you know. Talk to someone, you know, <laughs> taking away our business, you know. <laughs> hey, doctor, fire your doctor. Wow, looks very, uh, uh, the fire your doctor. Wow, I, I, but I like it, you know. You, you don't like your employer, fire your employer. Fire your boss, okay. Fire the HDA, FDA. <laughs> fire your government now. They, so we become a terrorist, you know, to fire. Uh, the, the key point is when you fire your doctor and you get better. <laughs> ah, you know, that is the point you want to bring out. Okay? And these are the examples. This is a Taiwanese doctor. He's a neurosurgeon. He conducted more than 10,000 cases of neurosurgery. You know how much one surgery costs? He's rich, you know, but he got colon cancer. Oh, Taiwanese, they're smart, you know, we are in, in the Chinese culture. We, then we go to herbs, go to alternative. And we went to, he recover. Okay, you go YouTube, you can search him. Recover, and he tried, he's now into helping cancer patients. I don't know whether he still operate or not, but he's not so keen on making money. Now. I think he has to have enough. Uh. So now he is doing alternative to help cancer patients, to tell the truth. So these are the doctors who fire their own doctors and get better, you know, and within a book. Most important, you survive, you know, you fire a doctor, you die, then that's it. But <laughs> within a book, and there are another doctors from Singapore. Neurosurgeon, same profession, you know, very smart guy. Same cancer, colorectal cancer, almost the same time, you know. I was shocked, you know, how come he died? He's a politician. He should get all the medical, drugs, whatever he wants. If he died, what so happened? What about the normal people with colon cancer? Can he survive? Okay, follow the same protocol, okay? And then, another Taiwanese doctor, you know, lung cancer, survive and publish another book, two books actually. So over millions, you know, maybe more than Dr. 
<laughs> Thomas Levy. Because in China, a lot of big markets. So I, pub I tried to publish book, you know. I sell less. <laughs> I sell less than a thousand, you know. So most of my books are give away anyway. And Taiwanese doctor heal themselves, you know. And there's another, Dr. Kelly, pancreatic cancer. Okay, they develop, they cure themselves and have this Kelly protocol for pancreatic cancers. Okay, so I have pancreatic cancer patients, stage 3B, reverse. Okay, just a follow a simple nutrition diet. And the patient didn't believe it last time. She have hypertension and cholesterol, 10 years, reversed. Okay, still alive and well, cancer free. Okay. And then another Japanese professor, they say 1% hope, 100% determination. And he developed his own protocol for cancer treatment in Japan. Well, these are the medical people, fire their own doctor, and, and heal, you know, and then tell the truth. Okay. And then from the US, you can go to this Dr. Lorraine Day's website, Every time he was challenged, you look at all this, you know, uh, attack, even by the own church. But her husband, I know he's a politician, so you, they know how to react, you know. So, so you have all these uh, stories. What are they telling us, okay? Dr. Gonzalez, he treated stage four pancreatic cancer. Still alive today, you know, 32 years. That is significant. These are the so-called, what else you need, you know, to... I have also asked my cancer patient, try to find one stage four cancer patient for me, if you know anyone. They follow exactly the convention, okay? Surgery, chemo, radiation. And then they do, do no nutrition, no supplements. A stage four, follow the convention and survive five years later. I would like to see him. I would like to learn from him. I, I would like to provide my free medical service. Try to get me one, and even though you can take a challenge. Okay? Stage four, I must stage four. Stage one, two, easily, you can over five years. Stage four, follow convention treatment. No supplement, no nutrition, and survive for five years. Only 2.1% but statistics, you know. But I can show you many more. Just in my small kid, I can show you a few already. And vitamin C and supplement helps, okay? Nothing wrong with vitamin supplements, you know, you just help cancer patients get better. It, it, it works with a, uh, which I don't agree, they say, uh, have not been tested or approved. I think Dr. Thomas Levy is strongly against. Vitamin is well tested, well evidence based. Okay. You, you have to open, you have to go to the research and, and and National Institute of Health, okay, the largest uh, okay, research institute in the US, they also confirmed that I will ask, what well, is vitamin C useful? So they bring up this paper. Vitamin C selectively kill cancer cells. Okay, for this uh, hydrogen peroxide, I'll discuss later. It works, it helps, you, you cannot find out the mechanism already. And then, uh, one thing they are starting to use for chemo uh, used to get away chemo drugs, okay. Uh, so for pancreatic cancer, for ovarian cancer, for breast cancer, they are now testing. Oncologists are starting to use vitamin C now. Do you know that? So I won't be surprised one day a chemo drug combined with a vitamin C become another. Chemo drugs, they can market it, you know, I can sell, and it works better, you know. So uh, there may be one vitamin C product, go inside the chemo drug and combine it together, and they get patency on it, okay? They can sell, okay? But now you can, you know, you can do it now, okay? And we all think, you know, they start with using vitamin C as a adjunctive cancer care, okay? So, very few patients will come and say you want uh, to be treated just by vitamins. I have, I have a cancer patient. They come to me, you know, shock me, you know, come with a stack of videos, okay? Doctor, I want to try. They search me on internet, they find I want to try the protocol. I mean, I'm sure, uh, yeah. 
who is your chemo doctor? No. They just uh, do the diagnosis, they want to try uh, vitamin, vitamin C and the nutrition protocol. It's early stage, stage two only. The cancer is still two, two three cm. So, and he docu and uh, she written a web page, 218 day best cancer free. No chemo, no surgery, no radiation. What did he do? What did she do, you know? All within there, the whole list, okay? That I tell her, don't mention my name, don't mention my clinic, okay? I'll be in trouble, even though you found such a successful. So, but it works, you know, but I'm not asking patient to follow, you know? Every time I say you must have an oncologist to support you, okay, to support me actually, otherwise, <laughs> you, you, but you are in trouble, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. And high dose vitamin C combined with cytotoxic chemistry. So in advanced cancer, okay. And now they find vitamin C useful uh, to modulate the cytokines, to uh, reduce C reactive proteins. Okay, you can you can see anti-inflammation. I think that is already a good indication. I want what you usually vitamin. To reduce inflammation in my cancer patients, okay, it's documented, and then they have liver cancer. They do the sodium-dependent vitamin C transporter channel. Liver cancer, you know, this documented. Don't don't tell me it's still in investigation. They found out the mechanism: hepatocellular carcinoma. Vitamin C is effective for lymphoma. I got few lymphoma patients reverse. But by the way, chemo drug is have a highest set in leukemia, lymphoma, testicular, testicular tumor, and ovarian tumor. So, but lymphoma even better. You, come, you use this vitamin C, okay? And then vitamin C in boosted the immune system from epithelial layer all the way down to phagocytosis. All these steps uh, are documented and proven by it's the vitamin C. Each step need vitamin C in your immune system. You know you need vitamins. All these are references. You see, who say vitamin C? No, no documents, no evidence. You know this is uh, immune system uh, together with zinc. Okay, vitamin C how the all the phagocytosis, cancer killing, okay? So you just look at the slide, what's wrong? Anything uh, serious with vitamin C? Any side effects? Uh, they now even go to the genetic level. They, but upregulating this tattoo, this 10, 11 translocation genes. So this is to suppress the cancer, I suppose. But somehow in, in this cancer cell, they mutate. The suppression gene was not working. So the cancer keep multiplying. But vitamin C activate this TET activity and tell the cancer cell to die. Okay? And this is the latest finding. You can go and search lymphoma, leukemia, the mechanisms. Okay, they go to genetic level now. So vitamin C is not just in the so-called molecular. They go to genetics. They activate the cancer suppressor gene. Okay? And then this put this uh, mechanism, so, okay, the tap to activation, okay? I think you go to the biochemistry. I don't need to know all about the mechanisms. I just wait a minute to work, that's all. But this one I published recently, you know? They, they kill the cancer stem cell, not just the cancer cells, okay? More interestingly, they enhance chemo, okay? You tell your doctor, I'm not taking away your business. Help you enhance your booster, your your patients, you know? The patients survive, okay? Then you get a good name. Use vitamin C. It your immune system through all these mechanisms. Then how vitamin C act? Produce hydrogen peroxide. Because you look at this uh, uh, pentagon. Uh, vitamin C and sugar, they're similar in, in structures. They cannot tell whether it's a, I mean, cancer cell a lot of these sugar receptors. It just fit right there, your vitamin C goes in, you know, become a Trojan horse. It goes in, they try to metabolize the, the C, but it's not, it's not sugar. So they metabolize it into hydrogen peroxide, okay? 
At hundred of plus, I kill the cancer. Okay, that is wonderful, you know. But what about the normal cell? Normal cell, they're this catalase. They just break the hydrogen peroxide into hydrogen and uh, water and oxygen. So you do nothing. This is one stone, two birds, we call it. So your immune system booster, they build up your body, strengthen the connective tissue, prevent the spread. And then you combine with antibiotic, doxycycline, 100 times better. Oh, I show my patient. Do you want to try? Wow, toxicide, antibiotics, side effects. So I used to give to my patients uh, acne for skin. Few weeks, toxicycline, no more side effects. A bit maybe gastric, say, but 100 times more published. Okay, it's worth to try, you can combine. It killed the cancer cell in culture. It's document, you've been talking about it, but it's proven. Don't say vitamin C cannot kill cancer cells, right? I have to be fast, huh? because uh, And one thing good about vitamin C is toxic to cancer cells and good for your normal body. And vitamin C, everybody knows, you know. Rather than I ask the patient, what drugs you are on? They don't know, you know. They take out the medicine, they find the paper. Sometimes they don't even know how to pronounce the name. So the, the chemical drug, yeah? what that means if you know, what it means you can do such a wonderful thing, I show them, okay. Even this National Inst Cancer Institute, yeah? they try to update vitamin C, you have to have a web page on vitamin C. To me, they are not doing a good job, you know. They are left behind, actually. A lot of people probably, but they, they, they tend to be very selective, you know. Those two papers still there, you know. The early randomized in the, still there, you know, already so-called, Refuted. Instead of doing intravenous, they do oral vitamin C. So they cannot come, but they still put there as a warning. Huh? May not be effective. Okay? There's so many updated on vitamin C. They, are, they should see the, uh, Dr. Levy about the updates, you know. Then they, 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 they maybe, maybe we should have a paper, uh, update on this uh, vitamin C page uh, to parallel, you know. Okay? And why do we see more doctors are using a lot of alternative doctors using it with good results and minimal side effects and safe? Okay, it is important, you know. You cannot afford one single incident after vitamin C, the patient admitted to the hospital. And the doctor said, What do you do? Vitamin C? Oh, so that is serious, you know. And none of my patients so far. So it's documented, evident. And how do vitamin C prove to be safe? 100 times, 1,000 times, you know, 800 to 100, 1,000 times. Well, there is such a high dose. I, I don't know any medicine that have this uh, so-called safe therapeutic level. Okay? 100, 1,000 times. Intravenous, you know, even Panadol, you know, you give 10 times, the patient can die. You give each intravenous, uh, you get a liver failure. Okay? And then, Dr. Thomas Levy, my, <laughs> my hero, you know, put a very strong word against all this authority. What do you mean by no evidence? What do you mean by, it's a negligence uh, to the extent, you know, you are not using vitamin C. You, you, you want to see the patient die without any, without any major side effects? So, what are all these seven? You, you just turn a, I think this is on his web page, just copy out, you know, so. More you can ask him, huh? He's here today, so. Then I, was challenged, you know. They come to talk to me, you're doing all this, no proof, no proof, I say. Then I send my case, I say, they, they don't care, you know. So I publish it, okay. That get, into, that get me into trouble, they get more attention, you know. Okay, <laughs> and then, they, oh, what do you mean by my case? They, so they don't recognize this, you know. I say, well, no, I'm, not, I'm not asking to recognize, it is just document, it's just case study, just to tell, what happened after vitamin C? What are the responses? The responses just in line with overseas finding, prolonged survival, improved quality of life, enhance your even chemo uh, effects, and minimal side effects. These are the things I want to bring out. I'm not talking about cancer patient replacing your whatever convention treatment, okay? So I put a poster and they remove it, you know? <laughs> they, uh, even your yeah, medical convention, they, so, and then I was invited to China. In this uh, 
in Chinese Academy of Science, okay, talking about vitamins. They don't know why they're interested. They are so old. My, my, I'm on clinical. I'm not doing animals, you know? So, <laughs> so but, uh, you know, the first lecturer, the professor, they talk about cancer stem cell. They are doing cancer cell. They, do, they know about vitamins. There are few papers published in China about vitamin C already. They know about it before, they, before I come. They know about it. They heard about it. Uh, they want to know my clinical finding. I was surprised they, they are very no, these young scientists, you know. They asked them, so do you need a trans, translator? No, they are all, most of them are graduate from overseas, from US, from the UK, and, right? So, and the paper eventually published, actually, the, on this uh, chemo stem cell. It seems no relationship, but somehow, vitamin C related to this uh, stem cell, okay? And publish, okay? Leukemia stem cell seems to the de deficiency of vitamin C. Okay. And then I have another case. There is a, it's a, it's a VIP actually from our country. He got lung cancer, spread to the medial stun, compressed the left laryngeal nerve, hoarseness, cannot talk. Okay. And then he got vocal cord palsy. So he was referred to Hong Kong to see the oncologist. He was given radiation treatment and then followed by vitamin C. Hong Kong is allowed to use vitamin C. They do high dose vitamin C and he documented successfully. He had never seen a case before. Vocal cord palsy can be reversed like this case. He's still in good condition, stage four lung cancer. I have another Ovarian cancer patients have to be faster, just two minutes. Stage four ovarian cancer given very limited, little chance to survive, okay? Besides that, they have another this, uh, tumor from the, this benign tumor behind the neck, okay? And she was very scared. She was told 70% will be left next year, but they were very frightened, you know? And then she started came to see me, tried to do vitamins to boost the immune system, not for any treatment, because she had finished all the chemo and surgery already. But today, she's still alive. That was one three, five years. She cycled every week. You don't know which one, they are among, even some of the new teammates, you know, who, who got cancer? She cannot be, the skin looks so nice, you know, the skin is smooth with all the vitamin C. And then, and then, they cannot tell she is a cancer patient, she, she, she go badminton. And then her recent report, totally clear. The oncologist said, wow, you're one of the lucky, luckiest. She's not lucky, I don't believe in luck anyway. <laughs> and then, this is all well documented. Okay, vitamin C for ovarian cancer. Cancer, a cancer medical center, documented already. And then, use vitamin C for ovarian cancer, okay. Besides vitamin, of course, they do a lot of other things. They have a lot of hard work, juices, detox. Huh? These are the fruits. Huh? Orange is not the highest in vitamin C. It's the guava, OK? And then, so hopefully, do we uh, want to try vitamin C? Do you want to let the patient die, huh? like what he said, without trying vitamin C, OK? So today, I still on my stand, vitamin C works, okay? Unless someone tell me, tell me, you're wrong. Vitamin C cannot improve cancer survival. Any of us thing, unless vitamin C cannot improve quality of life. Can, it's not safe. It cannot be used with, uh, with your chemos. So you put any of statements wrong, that I will stop, I will repent, okay? Otherwise, why not, you know? So that is. I end my presentation. That is my book in Chinese. Thank you. I think I keep my time. Okay. <laughs>